I really stink at talking today. Like, I need to have more interactions than just my cats. Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video today. So, as the title may have given it away, I will be doing swatches and a first impression of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Highlighter Palette. So yes, I am a little behind on this review because the palette has been out for at least a year that I know of. So Moonchild is now available at Sephora.com. It is not available in stores yet because I checked whenever you could see and it says not, it says online only. So I don't know if it will go in stores, but you can buy it online now. This is particularly exciting for me because I love racking up my Sephora points. I love being able to keep my VIB status. And if I'm going to buy makeup that is more expensive and I know it's sold at Sephora, I will only buy it from there so I can get my points. So I've been waiting on this palette for a long time. I've wanted it, but I could just never get myself to spend the $40 for it on the actual website for the company. Not because I don't love the company, but just because I can get my points at Sephora. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut up now and just show you the product. It comes in this really cute packaging, I'd say. I'm also not really one that cares too much about packaging because as long as the product works, that's all that matters, but some people really are into that. So if you are one of those people, I think this will stand out among what you already have. I know it does for me and I really like the light blue that it has, and the moon child part is hollow, so it's really cool when you can see it reflect in the light. And that is just the outside box, and then similar on the actual packaging. Who would have thought? Now, I haven't fully tested it. I only put my finger on, like, one color because I just wanted to see it. But I have a lot of friends who swear by this. Friends who aren't super duper into makeup, they're like, this is my go-to thing. I will spend money for this. So... Yes, here we go. And oh, it's really cute here too. And I think that was a good idea to do that because it's like outer space, spacey, you know. Yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so weird, guys. Sorry. So it comes with six colors here. From what I remember of the Aurora palette, I think the Aurora palette is a little bit bigger. I've seen it in the stores. I don't think I'll plan on buying that because I have this. And this has more of the colors that I would like to put on my own skin. But they have here this nice white called Blue Ice. This sort of gray tone called Star. Um, a deeper purple called Purple Horseshoe. And I don't really know. There's This is like a creamy or like a cream. And that is Pink Heart. They have one that's like slightly like seafoam green and that's Lucky Clover, and more of a lilac of Blue Moon. I do think that these are very beautiful colors. I know at first it might be a little bit alarming to people because they're like, you're going to put green on your cheek, you're going to put purple on your cheek, or even gray, but let's do some swatches because I think that it's going to look good. And the only one that I swatched so far was Blue Ice, and I really liked that one, so I'm super excited to see the rest. So this is blue ice. I don't know how well it shows up. I'll show you guys a close-up shot, don't worry, once I have all the colors on. But it does have um, a little bit of a blue sparkly tone when you like move the right way. Not in a bad way, it just makes it look reflective. Star is a pretty silvery color. It's not as gray as I thought it would be. I actually feel like that shows up more white than the one that's like white in the packaging. So that's pretty neat. So Purple Horseshoe is not as purple as I thought it would be, but that's not bad. I'm not disagreeing with that. I actually really like that. And I think that's really good for like an eternal kind of glow. <laughs> you guys, I can't do my wording today, but I... I don't hate it. I actually really think it's beautiful and I will find a way to use that. Okay, so this pink heart threw me off. I should be looking at these through the reflection because like when you look at them straight on, they look one color, but then when you like turn them, you actually see the undertones of each. So I see the, actually the undertone now of blue eyes, so the blue is not surprising to me. But the pink heart is so cute. Like look how pink that is. Now, I'd say that is a little bit darker than what I would normally like, 
but like I said, I will make anything work. Lucky Clover, get out of town. Okay, no joke. I have been looking for an eyeshadow that looks this way and I can never find anything like exactly like it. So I wouldn't put this on my face because I do see where it could be a little bit crazy to have green on your cheek but that is just for me personally if you want green on your cheek you go there's no shaming here i bet you will rock that blue moon is by far my favorite so i think that is like the epitome of what i would think the color would be if you took the name moon child and you only gave it to one color it would be blue moon the way that things went on was really really smooth I just put a little bit of product on my finger but you can see how much it shows up you don't want it to be too opaque if you don't know what opaque means um, it means like thick and super pigmented that's another way you could say that um, because it is a highlighter so you don't want to just put it on and then have this like super streak you want it to be subtly put on and you can build it up that way. Now the real test lies in how great it applies to the skin. So it's one thing to put it on your arm, but your arm has a different skin texture and it may or may not have a different color than your face. For me, it's darker than my face because your face actually is naturally lighter than the rest of your body and your face is going to be smoother or if you have like some acne problems, I do as well. So whatever hey guys so we're in this together so you're going to have a little bit of a different texture so you could have like those little red more like scaly type skin so you got to see how that looks that way I'm just using my one dollar elf fan brush I think it's like two dollars now inflation <laughs> no it's really not that bad okay ooh it goes on very nice I love that I don't know if you guys See it. So when you first look on, you're like, oh, she looks a little dewy. How cute. And then when you turn, you're like, bam, girl. Okay. I said bam, by the way. I'm trying to get that YouTube ad money. So. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. I love this. And I bet you there's going to be people that hate this palette and they're going to tell me that I don't know what I'm doing with highlighters because I reviewed another highlighter and actually a lot of people hated it. I did not have a problem with it, but... You know, these days you can't really have opinions different from other people without people getting mad at you. So, you know what I say? Just have an opinion. Just be you. It's your face, not theirs. So don't get mad. I do like how it reflects. Like, when you look straight on, you can see, like, slight glow. I don't know how well the stuff picks up on the camera because I feel like it picks up better in person than it does on camera. So, we'll see. But I think it picks up pretty well here like you can see there's like a little bit of extra glow to my face and then like I said when you turn it's like hey honey I'm a mirror ball today I'm gonna disco your way out of this room there's a quick little recap this does run for $40 as of right now I don't believe it's on Ulta.com it could be I don't know I'm more of a Sephora shopper so it is for sure on Sephora.com don't know when it'll be available in stores, but sometimes things pop up first online and then they pop up later at, um, at the stores. And especially around the holiday season coming up, I could see it showing up at the stores. You know, you gotta make more money, etc., etc. business. If you are one of those people that highlighter is not really a staple to your makeup look, or you aren't fully 100% on the colors or how you would use them because you like things a little bit more neutral tones. I don't think the $40 for this palette is worth it for you. If you love highlighters or you just love collecting makeup or both, I think $40 is actually a great price. You get six colors in one, which is amazing because I have seen like individual highlighters for like 30 to $36 just for one color. And yeah, it's a little bit bigger, but that, I think, is crazy. So I would rather spend $40 to get more than one color, and you happen to get six colors. I really like this one a lot, and I think it's amazing. I really love the colors. I love how buttery smooth it went on. Like I said, though, if you don't like glitter in your highlighters, which is actually a lot of people, don't get it because, like, half of the colors have glitter in them and the other half is like shimmery so <laughs> it's 
probably gonna be like wasting your money if you're not gonna use three. So I hope this review was helpful and thorough enough and I hope that it answered any questions that you may have had. If you have any more, let me know. I will be wearing this the rest of the day on my cheeks so I'll tell you how it stands up if you are interested. So just comment down below and ask a question if you need to or you could comment and just say hey and I'll say what up girl or boy, whoever commenting, grandma, grandpa, dad, mom, you know. So anyway, y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. I gotta go and relax and get down from my coffee high because it's getting me popping right now. <laughs> have a blessed day, guys.